What's going on guys? It's Mark from Prime Toy Media. Welcome to the Weekend Toy Review. Today we're taking a look at Brian Polito's Evil Ernie from Chaos Comics. This is an older toy from 1997. You can see he the glue started to let go on the packaging. So I ended up sticking some paper clips to hold on to it for the time being until we crack this thing open for a video. So Without further ado, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave me a comment on something you might want to see in a future video. We open toys old and new. Package-wise, pretty cool. Do like the artwork from back in the day. Quick little uh, bio about Evil Ernie. You can read it for yourself. These comics were mind-blowing to me when I was growing up. Bought most of them until the early 2000s, and I've got digital copies of everything after. I uh, paid slightly more than that sticker price, but that's all right. Get them out of this plastic. So a little easier to see all the accessories here. You've got Ernie himself, which looks really good. Very cartoony, but it's a really nice mold, I think. He's got a big gun, because why not? An axe, and a couple knives, and a cool stand with the Chaos Comics emblem. Starting off with the stand, nothing fancy, but it is the emblem. Little peg, could hold him up just fine. The bloody axe is a nice touch. It's got a little skull head on the top. The two, the two blades are identical. So we'll just look at one. Got a little bit of blood paint to app on there. And then has a skull again on the end of the handle. I'd have to go back and read the comic to see if the gun is reminiscent of a particular issue or if it's unique to the uh, toy here. But it's cool nevertheless. But here's what we're waiting for, Evil Ernie. And you can even see Smiley, he's got Smiley on his coat. Get that in focus there. That is so cool. What a really cool sculpt. He's got his leather jacket. A lot of like necro ooze spots coming through. You can tell he's just a skeleton. He's got the bony arms, which is really cool. Ernie Fairchild, if I remember correctly. Blue jeans with the gore and the bones sticking through again. And his boots. Really cool figure. For as skinny as he is, surprisingly, he comes in at six inches tall. So it's going to be interesting scaling him with other figures. He looks a little frail and delicate compared to, say, like a Marvel Legends figure. But then again, there's no meat on his bones, right? He's mostly skin and bones. Would that be accurate? Maybe. Articulation-wise, going to go real slow because he is an old figure. Arms move up and down. Zero elbow articulation. No hand articulation whatsoever. Head swivels a little bit, but not much because he's got all this luscious hair. Look at him. He's a rocker, dude. 80s style. Swivels at the waist. See that metal metal belt buckle he's got there? That thing's pretty sweet. Come on, focus on it, not me. There we go. His legs have minimal articulation. You can see. This one's sticking a little bit. I'm not going to force it. I'll put it into hot water later. But no knee articulation and no foot articulation. So having that leg move really doesn't serve me anyway. Now, his big gun fits in his hand real nice. Look how clean that is. Oh, that is so cool. Don't mess with Ernie. He's actually got, you can see it, actually has the trigger finger in the trigger. Nice. And then the other hand, where are we at? is just a circle 
So it's going to hold the different knives very nice. And because of the hilt, if you want to stick it in. Oh, come on, come on, Ernie, let go. So you can do psycho stabbing motion. You ain't going to drop it because it bulges just a little bit. So you got to force it through there. All in all, super stoked about this. The Ernie figure looks awesome. I picked up Ernie here for about 30 on eBay. If it's something you're interested in, you can still find these older ones. That's it. Let's get out of here on some cool picks of Ernie with and without some other characters for scale.